Good morning everyone. Welcome back to GK today. And today we'll be discussing most important MCQs for 10th of September 2021. Starting with very first question, which country's prime minister topped in the survey conducted by the Morning Consult? Actually, this survey calculates the approval and disapproval rating of the global leaders based on a 7-day moving average of adults in each country which is analyzed by the online surveys or you can say online interviews fine so this tally has been topped by our prime minister narendra modi with an approval rating of 70% so his approval rating is highest among 13 global leaders polled in the survey and he is ahead of all the countries like mexico italy uk germany etc fine now apart from it talking about india recently on 3rd of september 2021 the 11th brics trade ministers meeting was held in virtual mode under the chairmanship of india so the union minister of commerce and industry shri piyush goel chaired the meeting and it was attended by trade and economic ministers of the brics countries fine already i have told you that this time brics presidency has come to india so whatever events and conferences would be held under brics this year it would be presided by india itself now what was the theme for this event theme was brics at the rate 15 intra brics cooperation for continuity consolidation and consensus fine now few days back also india has hosted the 8th bimstech agriculture experts meeting and this meeting was chaired by our director general of indian council of agricultural research who is dr trilochan mohapatra fine also india has taken charge as the chairman of stop tb partnership board in 2021 and a deadline that has been decided by india to end tb in the country is 2025 also india is the first asian country to launch a plastic pact then recently india's ministry of external affairs along with ministry of information and broadcasting have organized brics film technologies symposium in collaboration with fiki so these are some of the important things regarding our country question number 2 panjshir valley which is in news recently is located in which country So as we know that although the major parts of Afghanistan including the capital city Kabul have been taken in Taliban's control but the Panjshir valley is yet to be taken by the Taliban's there but NRF that is the National Resistance Front has been demonstrating stiff resistance against the Taliban forces at Panjshir valley in Afghanistan so the NRF have called for a cease fire and have proposed that taliban stop its military operations in panjshir fine so this place lies in afghanistan now apart from panjshir valley these days kasai river is very much in news why because the bodies of hippos and dead fish were seen floating in the river and kasai is a tributary of the congo river and it is located in democratic republic of congo so actually due to these things the kasai river had turned red recently and the pollution originates from a major spill at three mining facilities around in angola so researchers also fear the potential for lasting contamination of groundwater as well apart from it prime minister of thailand is prayuth chan ocha and he is in news because recently he has won the vote of confidence in parliament and the former president of afghanistan was ashraf ghani and recently he apologized to the people of afghanistan due to his fleeing from afghanistan to take refuge in uae also prime minister of malaysia is smail sabri yakub and new secretary general of rajya sabha is dr rama charyulu and our senior bureaucrat jb mohapatra has been appointed as chairman of cbdt that is central board of direct taxes talking about some of the important brand ambassadors brand ambassador of amway india is mirabai chanu then brand ambassador of kerala adventure 
tourism is pr srijesh then obviously al bank has appointed neeraj chopra for banking fraud awareness campaign now you have to tell me who is the first brand ambassador of home lane please write in the comment section if you know question number 3 The High Court of which state has a state the implementation of RBI's notification on appointment of MD whole nine director in urban cooperative banks So recently the Madhya Pradesh High Court has issued an order against the RBI's notification related to appointment of managing director or whole time director in urban cooperative banks dated on 25th of June 2021 So actually this order was based on a petition which argued that the cooperative is part of the state list in the 7th schedule of the indian constitution and the powers to make legislation with respect to cooperative banks is vested with the state government now talking about madhya pradesh recently the government of madhya pradesh has implemented the national education policy 2020 and hence with this it has become the second state in india to implement this following the karnataka Also two cities of Madhya Pradesh Gwalior and Orcha have been selected by UNESCO under Historic Urban Landscape Project Then already we have discussed about the Tribunal Reforms Bill 2021 that seeks to abolish nine appellate tribunals including FCAT that is Film Certification Appellate Tribunal and all the pending cases before such tribunal or authorities will be transferred to the commercial courts or high courts also recently nine new judges of supreme court took oath of office at one go so now the strength of supreme court judges has risen to 33 including the chief justice of india and this is the very first time in history of the supreme court that nine judges took oath at one go fine question number 4 how many medals have been backed by the indian contingent at the Tokyo Paralympic Games 2020 So the Indian contingent finished with a total of 19 medals which includes 5 gold 8 silver and 6 bronze and out of the total 162 countries India was ranked at 24th position and at 20th position in terms of number of medals So this year India had sent the largest contingent of 54 para athletes who participated in nine sporting disciplines and this is also the highest ever medal haul of india and team china topped the final medal tally at the tokyo paralympic games already we have seen that avni likhara who was also the flag bearer of closing ceremony of this event won the country's first gold medal in shooting in women's 10 meter air rifle then there is yogesh kathunia He clinched the silver medal in the event of discus throw. Then there is Devendra Jhajaria. He won the silver medal in the event of javelin throw. And Sundar Singh has won bronze medal, and he is also a javelin thrower. Then there is Sumit Antil. He won the gold in men's javelin with the new world record of sixty-eight point five five meters. And now you have to tell me. The India's theme song of Paralympic Kar De Kamal Tu was composed and sung by which of the personality please write in the comment section Question number 5 The United Nations International Day of Charity on 5th of September is observed to commemorate the death anniversary of which leader So every year 5th of September is observed as International Day of Charity and this day was chosen in memory of the death anniversary of Mother Teresa so this day basically aims to bridge the gap between the rich and the poor people and to meet the sustainable development goals by the year 2030 so the resolution in this regard was adopted by United Nations General Assembly in the year 2012 which was co-sponsored by 44 UN member nations also 5th of September is celebrated as National Teachers Day to commemorate the tribute to dr sarvapalli radhakrishnan and we celebrate world teachers day on 5th of october now apart from it united nation has observed 31st august 
as the first ever international day for people of african descent and this day has been dedicated to commemorate the contribution of the african diaspora in every field of existence okay then we celebrate national small industry day on 30th of august to recognize the values of small industries in our society then also we celebrate international day of victims of enforced disappearances on same day that is on 30th of august to honor and pay tribute to the people who have faced the enforced disappearances okay already we have talked about this term earlier so i am not repeating it yet again question number 6 a new climate finance leadership initiative india partnership has been signed with which country so at the 11th india united kingdoms efd that is economic and financial dialogue the indian finance minister nirmala sitaraman and uk chancellor rishi sunak met virtually and they signed a 1.2 billion usd package of public and private investment in green projects and renewable energy so a new cfli india partnership has been agreed to mobilize private capital into sustainable infrastructure in india so your correct answer is option number c now apart from it recently kenya and united kingdoms have co-hosted a global education summit where in the city of london with objective to raise 5 billion usd for global partnership for education Also India and UK have planned to explore the possibility of setting up a world bank for green energy and this was discussed during a meeting of United Nations COP26 president Alok Sharma with Union Power and New and Renewable Energy Minister Raj Kumar Singh in New Delhi Question number 7 India has signed a memorandum of understanding with which country to reconstruct heritage sites and health sector projects affected in 2015 earthquake so india and nepal have signed this memorandum of understanding under which india would help the nepal in reconstructing its 14 cultural heritage sites and 103 health sector projects which were damaged during the 2015 earthquake and the total cost of these reconstruction is 420 crore nepalese rupees and this is a part of india's post earthquake reconstruction package under which india has committed a total grant of 250 million usd to the country nepal now apart from it do remember that liverpool has been removed from unesco world heritage status why because they do not preserve and maintain the sites properly and before liverpool there were two sites which had earlier lost their heritage status then there is ramappa temple of telangana it has been recently conferred with world heritage status now there are six cultural heritage sites that have been added to unesco's world heritage status and which are these first is ganga ghats of varanasi second is temples of kanchipuram in tamil nadu third is satpura tiger reserve from madhya pradesh Fourth is Maharashtra military architecture. Fifth is Heer Bengal megalithic site, and last is Bheda Ghat, Lamita Ghat of Narmada Valley in Madhya Pradesh. Fine. So these are the six different cultural heritage sites that have been conferred to UNESCO World Heritage status. Question number eight: Which digital payments firm recently launched? India's first interactive platform with data on digital payments. So Walmart owned digital payments firm PhonePay has recently launched PhonePay Pulse which is the India's first interactive platform with data insights and trends on digital payments in the country. So the website showcases more than 2000 crore transactions by consumers on an interactive map of India. So now this phone pay pulse will also study on the evolution of digital payments over the past 5 years with detailed geographical and category specific trends. So as per the report over 300 million Indians from 19000 pin codes now use the digital payments. Now apart from it recently phone pay has received 
in principle approval from RBI to operate as an account aggregator. So now the license permits the phone pay to launch its account aggregator platform that will enable instant exchange of financial data between the financial information users and financial information providers with due consent from the customers. Also PhonePay has been issued an insurance broking license from IRDAI to be a broker to sell life and general insurance products. So with this PhonePay can now offer insurance advice to its more than 30 crore users. Also few days back PhonePay had tied hands with Flipkart to launch a contactless scan and pay feature for Flipkart's pay on delivery orders. So now it will enable the customers to pay digitally through UPI applications during the delivery of the product who earlier opted for cash on delivery. Okay. Also do remember that after Singapore, Bhutan has recently adopted India's Bhim UPI. Question number 9. Simbex is a maritime naval exercise between Singapore and which country? So the 28th edition of Singapore India maritime bilateral exercise that is Simbex was held at South China Sea. And due to the COVID pandemic, this year Simbex was conducted as at sea only exercise without any physical intervention. Apart from it, India's first satellite and ballistic missile tracking ship named as Dhruv is said to be commissioned from Vishakhapatnam and this ship is built by Hindustan Shipyard in collaboration with DRDO and NTRO that is National Technical Research Organization. Apart from it, Indian Navy's offshore petrol vessel INS Savitri arrived to Bangladesh carrying two 960 liters per minute medical oxygen plants to support the ongoing efforts of the Bangladesh in tackling COVID-19 pandemic. And this ship is also scheduled to participate in a maritime partnership exercise with BN ship on departure from the Chattogram port. Then INS Hans was in news. Why? Because it is an Indian naval air station located in the state of Goa. And recently, President of India and Supreme Commander of Indian Armed Forces presented the President's color to the Indian Naval Aviation at INS Hans Goa. So what is this President's color? Actually it is presented to recognize the service rendered both during peace and combat. So President Ramnath Kovind is also said to attend the Diamond Jubilee celebration of INS Hans. So do remember that it is an Indian Naval Air Station in the state of Goa. Coming to last question, the INSPIRE Awards Manak is constituted or given by which ministry? So the national level exhibition and project competition for INSPIRE Awards Manak has commended under the Department of Science and Technology which comes under Union Ministry of Science and Tech. So what does Manak stands for? It is Million Minds Augmenting National Aspiration and Knowledge. So this scheme has been launched to motivate students in the age group of 10 to 15 years of class 6 to 10th standards to become the future innovators. Now apart from it, recently Dr. Firdausi Kadri and Mohammed Amjad Saqib have won the Raymond Maxese Award with three other recipients. Dr. Firdausi Kadri belong to Bangladesh while Mohammed Amjad Saki belong to Pakistan. Now you have to tell me who are these other three recipients. We have already covered this news. So please write your answers in the comment section. Now let's start with today's quiz. Here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two three days current affairs. Pause the video and try to solve each of these questions. And at the end of the lecture, do not forget to share your scores in the comment section. So please be honest and do not cheat with yourself. So that's it for today. I hope you have liked the session. These were the important news and events from today and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs. Till then stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to GK Today. With this me Nuzat Sana signing off.